Hey everybody, Chris here from it So today I'm kind of in a rush. I've got to paint a green dragon quickly. And I want it to look pretty good for a tabletop. So this isn't going to be an absolute perfect work of art, but I'm going to show you how I paint some of my minis quick and make them look pretty good for a tabletop game. So if you want to see how I paint this and paint it quickly, stick around. I'm in a rush. I have an upcoming D&D session coming up with my family and I do not have the boss that they're about to fight ready. So I'm going to show you some of the techniques that I use using speed paints and dry brush technique. Because most of the time when my family fights a boss, they never see that again and it just goes in a box. So I don't want to spend hours into this, but I'm willing to put a little bit of effort into it to make it look nice when I throw it down on that table. So let's jump over to the spray booth and I'll show you how I do this in minutes, not hours. One thing to mention before I get started is I've already primed this model with white primer. When you're using speed paints, it's really best if you're using a lighter base coat. I like to use white because I get the best results with that. So first I'm starting with this speed paint called Orc Skin and I'm just putting it directly into my airbrush. I'm not watering it down in any way. All right, so you can see how the contrast paint, like I was actually airbrushing it and able to get different areas darker. So like the wings are like light in the middle and then the edges are darker because of the, the speed paints. So like I was able to get some really good texturing with this with just that one color. And I was just hitting it a little harder and then it just got in those cracks and it just worked out really well. Now, the one thing I did is I went ahead and painted the base white again because I got a little bit of an overspray on this. But right now, I've got about 12 minutes into this, and I've already got it looking like that. So I'm going to use this Gravelord Gray on the base, and then use this hardened leather on just this little part right here. It's a little stump. And I'm going to get all of that with just a brush and quickly just coat this thing. So I just shake it up real good. And I am going to pour just a little bit right here. All right, so first I'm going to be using a big brush to get all these big areas. Then I'm going to go in with a tinier brush to be able to get into some of those cracks where he's actually on this, where he's actually on the ground. Okay, so there we go. We got the base all black. I actually didn't even use a small brush because I'm just like, this is all about speed right now for me. Not about perfection, but trying to see how fast I can paint something and get, you know, something pretty decent out of it. Just using these speed paints and I'm going to be doing some really fast dry brush. All right, so now I'm going to use this hardened leather and I'm using just kind of a finer brush right now because I'm just wanting to get this base on this log here. And just to add a little character, I'm going to add some of this brown to this stump right here. Maybe it was a, a piece of tree or who knows, but I'm going to mix it in with the black to kind of get it darker just because I think this thing just needs a little bit more character. There we go, just mix that in real good. All right, so there's all my speed paints. Now I've just gotta let this guy dry and then we will start the next process, which are gonna be the quick dry brushes to really make all of this stuff pop and just make it a cool mini. Or I guess this is a big mini, but it's still a mini. All right, real quick, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to all of these amazing people for supporting me on Patreon this month. If you want to be like these awesome people, you can get exclusive access to my private Discord channels where we talk about printing, painting, and honestly everything in between. You'll also get access to my behind the scenes content and you get to vote on some of the videos that I produce each month. If you're interested, I'll put a link below for you. Other than that, let's hurry up and get back to this dragon. 
So now I've got everything nice and dry, and when you really look at this base, it doesn't look great with this speed paint. It's a really big area and it is flat, so there's not a lot of places for the cracks to kind of fill in like it did on the rest of this model and like for the stump. But we're gonna be using some dry brush techniques to really just kind of make this pop and it's gonna look a lot better when we're done with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the dragon itself because we're gonna be doing some dry brushing on him really quickly and then all I've gotta do is paint his teeth and eyes and some of his claws here. And that's really all I'm going to be doing to him. So let's go ahead, use this Escorpina green and I'm gonna put some on my texture board. Then I'm gonna be taking my Army Painters dry brush and I'm just gonna be dragging this and throwing my paintbrush in the paint, which is perfect. Let's see if I can save it. There we go. There, just wipe it off the ferrule. And I'm gonna drag it in and then just start brushing away some of that paint. Okay. And I'm just gonna go in here and start doing a, just a general dry brush over everything. The main areas that I don't really wanna hit that hard are going to be the wings, like the flaps between the wings. I want to keep those lighter, but everything around it, I'm definitely going to be hitting. All right, so you can see like that texture is really starting to pop out with this dry brush. So like here's this side, you can see it really clearly and versus this flatter side. So you can see the difference between having that dry brush, just really bringing out those ridges. And I'm just using this, this light green to do that. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is kind of focus a little more on these wings because I've got less than five minutes in just dry brushing this dragon now to really get all of that texture out. And you can see how he is really being able to like shine through with these scales and things like that. So it's looking really good. Now I'm going to move to the next step and I'm going to add some white to this Escorpina green here to make it really light. And I'm just gonna mix this up right here on my board with a stir stick. And this is gonna give me a really, you know, light green, like almost like a pale lime green or a pastel-y kind of looking green. And there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same brush here and get some of this on it. And very lightly in certain areas, just kinda hit it. Not everywhere, more on just like the big high level ridges to really just bring some of these out. Then make sure I got everything off and then I'm going to kind of just hit in the middle here to lighten up in between the wings. And then on the back here. And there we go. So now all I'm gonna do is just kind of clear this brush off as good as I can. And then I'm gonna take this cold gray once I've cleaned off my brush as good as I can get it. And I just put some of that on my texture board. And this is what I'm actually going to do some of the foundation on. I'm just gonna get my brush good and just go around here and start dry brushing the texture on here. And this is just really quick. Just 
Just getting in where I can. And there we go. That gives me a little more grit to it. And there we go. So now it's got some nice texture to it. And all I'm gonna do now is everything else is gonna be with a brush. So I don't even have that much time invested into this and it is looking really good. I would be even happy throwing this on a game table right now, just as it is. But we're gonna do a few more things to really just make it pop. Next, I'm just gonna take some of this moon yellow from the game color and get it on my brush. I got a nice fine point tip. I'm gonna go ahead and just paint his eyes yellow. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna take this white and start painting his teeth white. All right, while that white dries, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a regular black and start painting all of the toenails and claws. All right, so now I'm going to use this Citadel Null Oil as a wash and now that the teeth are all now that the teeth are all dry i'm just basically just going to go paint right back over it and try to get this right in the cracks to really see the definition of those teeth And there we go. And the other thing I'm going to do is also paint on the horns here because I want those just a little bit darker and a little more shade on them. So now the last thing that I do on all my minis, I like to have a black edge on the bases if I've painted the bases. So I'm gonna just take a regular black, get some of that and just do some trim work all the way around to get a nice edge. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this dry and then we will check out the final results. So this turned out exactly how I wanted it. I didn't want to put a ton of time into this dragon, but I wanted to get a lot of his details out. And using speed paints with a combination of dry brushing, I mean, it just looks awesome. And I'm hoping when I throw this down in our next session, they are going to be equally terrified and impressed that a green dragon is right there in front of them. So I just wanna show you some of these techniques because sometimes you have something that you just don't wanna put a ton of time into, but you do wanna paint it. Speed paints are fantastic with the combination of dry brushing. Ah, I love it. Especially when you need to hurry up and just get some paint on that model. So if you have minis that you just don't wanna spend the time on and you just wanna paint them quick, I already did a video showing you the three different ways that I use when it comes to painting minis. And I'll put that video right here. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in that next video.